Harry Potter OC Challenge. You can choose the age, gender, and skin color. However, the age has to be between 11 and 18. Next, pick a number between 1 and 4. The number you choose will determine the blood status of your OC. If you choose 1, your OC is a pure blood. If you choose 2, your OC is a half blood. If you choose 3, your OC is a muggle-born. I'm not going to say the offensive version of this word. And if you choose 4, your OC is a squib. Hair length. If you have short hair in real life, give your OC medium length hair. If you have medium length hair in real life, give your OC long hair. And if you have long hair in real life, give your OC short hair. Hair color is determined by the hair color of your favorite Harry Potter character. If your favorite Harry Potter character has black hair, examples include Harry Potter and Severus Snape, then give your OC brown hair. Any shades of brown are acceptable. If your favorite Harry Potter character has brown hair, examples include Hermione Granger and Rubius Hagrid, then give your OC blonde hair. If your favorite Harry Potter character has blonde hair, examples include Luna Lovegood and Draco Malfoy, then give your OC orange hair. If your favorite Harry Potter character has orange hair, examples include Ron Weasley and Lily Potter, then give your OC black hair. And lastly, if your favorite Harry Potter character has any other hair color, then you can choose. Eye shape is your choice and eye color is your favorite color. Your OC's house is determined by the season you were born in. If you were born in the spring, your OC is a Hufflepuff. If you were born in the summer, your OC is a Gryffindor. If you were born in the fall, your OC is a Ravenclaw. And if you were born in the winter, your OC is a Slytherin. You can choose the clothes. The clothes can be their Hogwarts robes, their Quidditch robes, casual clothing, etc. You can also choose the clothing colors, but they must have some of your OC's house colors. Gryffindor being red and gold, Slytherin being green and silver, Ravenclaw being blue and bronze, and Hufflepuff being yellow and black. Now it's time to move on to accessories. Accessories are determined by the Hogwarts house you are sorted in. If you don't know what your house is, you can take the Hogwarts house test on the Wizarding World website. If you don't want to take the test or you just can't, pick the house you think you fit in or at least your favorite house. If you're a brave Gryffindor, give your OC a hat of your choice. If you're an ambitious Slytherin, give your OC a magical and valuable necklace. If you're a smart Ravenclaw, give your OC glasses and or a book. And if you're a kind Hufflepuff, give your OC a flower accessory and or a scarf. You can choose the type of wand your OC can have, what it's made of, its core, etc. Your OC's Patronus is determined by the Patronus you have. If you don't know what your Patronus is, you can take the Patronus quiz on the Wizarding World website. If you're unable to, or don't want to, then just pick your favorite animal. <laughs> 